Kid is born on April 1st. Kid, am I a joke to you? Yeah, that'd be weird having a birthday on April 1st. And I'm sure a bunch of you have it on April 1st, but wouldn't it be weird? Because, you know, you'd say, say to people, when's your birthday? Oh, it's April 1st. And people will be like, oh yeah, you think you're funny? Huh? Then when it actually comes to your birthday, it's April 1st. And you're like, you start telling people, are you going to come to my house for the party or whatever? And people are like, oh, that's funny. I know it's April 1st. I ain't coming. I ain't coming. What is up, you guys? I'm Charmix today. I'm gonna be looking at some more uh, Reddit dank memes. Now, I freaking love Reddit dank memes. Hopefully, this will be quite funny. With that being said, I hope you guys like this video. Without any further ado, let's begin. Also, I'm a little bit tired, so forgive me if I'm not like crazy energetic. When you get bored of your regular leather armor, I have decided that I want to die. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> is that in Minecraft? Did they make it so you can dye leather armor in Minecraft? Really? I don't know, I, I haven't played Minecraft in like five years or something. We don't have to use the con because we can't get pregnant. The gays. They- <laughs> Oh, that's dark. That's freaking dark. Oh my goodness. All right, this is titled Crappy Meme. Well, you, you can see what it really says. Nobody is born cool, except of course. The guy who oofed Hitler. All right, now this might sound crazy, but I honestly think that he actually lived like past the war. Now hear me out. He was one of the most famous, horrible people in the world. And we never got a picture of him. We never got a picture of his body. We never got anything. And we had cameras back then. There are videos of him talking, right? Are you telling me that there wouldn't be a picture of him bleh, somewhere, right? You know, I think people would want proof. But there is no picture, there's no, nothing like that, of the most infamous person, or one of the most infamous people in the world. So honestly, I think it's believable that he probably escaped something like that. Like, that's extremely believable. But, but, that's just a theory. A GAME THEORY! Thanks for watching! Anyway, true pirates know which one's the right one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's right, that's freaking right. I remember years ago, years and years and years ago, when you go and like download from websites or whatever, they would have ads that would have the download buttons on them. So you don't know which one to click. I remember that, oh my goodness. That is nostalgic. I will finesse your lady friend. Okay, sweet, we're dating now. That's how Tinder works. Or so I'm told. Lol, okay, but I don't think my boyfriend would like that. No, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Speech 100. Oh, that's, I like that. I like that one a lot. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute now. Why are you using Tinder when you have a boyfriend? That's just screaming suspicion. Why are you using Tinder, an app specifically made for hooking up, when you already have a boyfriend? Now, either you're looking for someone to join or you are not to be trusted ah the sunlight is too bright i will use the sun visor much better now <laughs> so this is the new meme format i guess sometimes the truth hurts fire doesn't burn underwater throws it on uh some sticks <laughs> technically there are, i think there are some fires that do burn underwater aren't there like i know underwater welding exists and i'm pretty sure that's like a type of fire isn't it i don't know I don't know, what am I talking about? Let's move on. Renaissance painter watching some squares and a couple of lines on a blank canvas get sold for tens of millions of dollars. Mamma mia! <laughs> That's so true! That's so true! I like art, as in, like, paintings that bring me in. You know, if I look at a painting, I want it to kind of suck me into the environment so it feels like I'm there. Like, if I'm looking at a painting of, uh, a nice fall forest or whatever. I want to kind of feel as if I'm there. And I find that some paintings actually really they give me that feeling. And I love that. That's the kind of art I like. But then you get like, yeah, squares and weird lines that sell for so much money. It doesn't make any friggin' sense. I was born in the wrong uh, era, apparently. R slash free speech sent you a message. You have been banned for participating in R slash free speech. <laughs> you can still view and subscribe to free speech, but you won't be able to post or comment. That is the definition of irony. Oh my goodness. We don't like what you say? Well, no free speech for you. No free speech for you! Kid gets bullied. Teachers. That's lit. That's lit? Yeah, what kind of teacher says that? Kid clicks his pen multiple times. Teachers. Wakanda will no longer watch from the shadows. <laughs> what? 
What if we use 100% of our brain? Blind myself with a lamp for no reason, part two. Part two? There was a part one to this madness? Nine year old. Gets beat in video game. N word. Carry this, you effing casual. <laughs> when you are an anti-vax kid and manage to survive a common cold, half of my respiratory organs were destroyed. <laughs> That's got 37,000 upvotes. That's funny. Question four to the class. Revenge of the Sith is rated PG-13 and is such allowed one F-bomb. Is that like an actual law? Where you could say the F word if it's PG-13, you can only say it once. Is that an actual thing? Uh, where would you put it? F you, Anakin. I have the high ground. That'd be a great place to put it. Is that like an actual thing though where you can say the F-bomb one time if it's PG-13? Is that how it works? I don't know. Anti-vax memes began in 2015 and have now outlived an anti-vax kids. <laughs> oh! I like that meme, that's funny. That's funny, I wasn't expecting that. Did they actually begin in 2015? Did they actually begin that long ago? They might have been around for that long, but not as popular as they are now. Like, they might have been here and there way back in the day, but I think over time they, they've they definitely increased. Definitely in the last year, with all the, the, the news going on. Kid is born on April 1st. Kid, am I a joke to you? Yeah, that'd be weird having a birthday on April 1st. And I'm sure a bunch of you have it on April 1st, but wouldn't it be weird? Because, you know, you'd say to people, when's your birthday? Oh, it's April 1st. And people would be like, oh yeah, you think you're funny? Huh? Then when it actually comes to your birthday, it's April 1st. And you like, you start telling people, are oh, you gonna come to my house for the party or whatever? And people are like, oh, that's funny. I know it's April 1st. I ain't coming. I ain't coming. I would literally die if a boy did this to me. Yeah, you know, you would die. <laughs> You'd go up in flames. Evolving symptoms early in the game. Waiting until you have infected everyone to evolve any symptoms, then go straight to total organ failure. That is so true. That is so true. That's from the game, uh, oh frig, what's it called? I even have it on my computer right now. Plague Inc. There we go. It's from Plague Inc. The game is quite fun. And yeah, if you want to win the game, you have to infect as many people as possible before you start increasing your symptoms. It's best to have no symptoms, but I can't beat the game. The plague solves an overpopulation problem in 14th century Europe. In the aftermath, wages increased, rent decreased, wealth was more evenly distributed, diet improved, and life expectancy increased. This does put a smile on my face. I actually heard that this is true. Although the plague wiped out so many people, after all those people were gone, there was a lot more property around because the people who owned the property were no longer around. So the property value went down so the average Joe or whatever could afford it. You know, all of a sudden there was more food for everyone. So although the plague is horrible and it wiped out so many people, the people who managed to survive it, you know, seemed to, seemed to do okay at, in the end, I guess. It's a very dark meme though. <laughs> Anti-vax kid exists. Vaccine preventable diseases. Parry this, you effing casual. It's pretty accurate. Selling a cat, he sometimes barks. Is that a dog that you just put it? <laughs> that looks awful. Illusion 100. I guess if you're from far away and you squint, it might look like a cat. Real footage of Florida man trying to be normal for two minutes. It's very hard. <laughs> That's, I like this one. I like this one. Jaguar won't be euthanized after zoo attack on selfie-taking Arizona woman, officials say. I guide others to a treasure I cannot possess. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, I heard that. The, the Jaguar who attacks the lady won't be put down, which is good. Because the jaguar was in its its habitat, it didn't do anything wrong. The woman hopped over a barrier to get closer to it. You know, the barrier is there to stop people like you from getting in there. What is wrong? I, oh, man. Sometimes it's best not to read the news. Ignorance can be bliss sometimes, because when you realize how dumb people can be, it can get to you. I mean, I'm stupid, but friggin' I ain't gonna mess with a friggin' jaguar. What are you, nuts? How many people are gay in India? Roughly 90 million people. T-Series. <laughs> Therapist. Weaponized autism doesn't exist. It can't hurt you. Weaponized autism. Buzzfeed. <laughs> okay, I like this one. This is a good one to end off on. This is a good one to end off on. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I really like this. I really like this. There are a lot of good memes in here today. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new, hit subscribe to the family. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.